hi folks Merry Christmas and nearly a happy new year um, we're back on the bank today just for a couple of hours just to walk off uh, a little bit of Christmas fun <laughs> uh, the inevitable extra few pounds anyway today I'm going to use a different uh, pike setup probably fairly obviously probably a fairly familiar one um, we're going to give this chap a go the famous mouse and just see uh, if we can pick up any pike on this stretch um, it's a stretch I've been to a couple of times before it feels like it should hold fish I've had a couple of close encounters I've never landed anything along here but we shall see um, we're going to use the lighter mouse I can't remember the exact specifications, but it's less than, must be less than 50 grams, probably. I'm using it on the, the big pike setup because I've got a few other laws as well, so we'll see how we get on. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you on the bank soon. Okay, guys, let's do first cast here. So. I'm using the mouse unweighted. I've got some weights with me. The canals here are not deep. Um, and I want to be able to fish this really slowly, so... I think the unweighted option is probably best. I don't know exactly how deep it is here, but not much of this canal is, is that deep. Usually you're looking at four or five feet, possibly six feet at the max, really. There's a lot of sediment and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll just cast under some of these features. See how we get on, try and get plenty of movement in it. It naturally displaces a lot of water just because of its shape anyway. I've got that winter sun right in my face, <coughs> which <laughs> makes Cast into the far bank quite difficult. At the moment, I can't see anything on the other side. Probably the camera's not going to pick up very much either. Let's just see if we can get a better angle out of that. Cause I Can't quite see where I'm casting. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's got a few different laws with us today. Um, as I say, we'll start with this one. See what, we, see what we find. AD promises me that this will catch fish. Um, it's always a bit more difficult on canals there. See that hair when it wetens down it does create a really uh, a really big profile obviously flares out when you're uh, drawing the lure back in let's 
just make sure that drags it actually. Yeah, let that sink a little bit too far. And <clears throat> So today I'm using the um, Western Jerkbait Rod, W6, um, lovely rod, very light, I think this is, I uh, can't remember the casting range on this one, but what is it, 40 to 130 grams, so it's, uh, it's going to cast most of your pike laws. And also because most of the fishing I do is on canals, it uh, lengthwise it's perfect. So I don't, you don't need a bigger, I don't need a big rod. I don't need um, nine foot rods fishing on canals. This uh, that kind of six foot, six foot six, I think it is. Yeah, six foot six. Doing a fact check. <laughs> it's perfect. Risk and reward casting there at the brambles on the other side. So a little bit on the kit I'm using again, I'm using the, uh, as I mentioned, the Western W6 um, trigger jerkbait rod, 6'6", 6 6, 40 to 130 gram casting weight, a lovely rod, very light, um, very powerful, fast action, just imagine from a jerkbait rod. Um, I've got that paired up with a Revo X reel, which is a, a slower, uh, the lower geared ratio one, I think this is like 5 point. 5.4 to 1 or something, so ideal for soft plastics this time of year where you want to bring things in a bit more slowly. Um, oh, there we go. That's the mouse christened. That one took me by surprise, guys, I have to say. It's only a little one. Oi. <laughs> Just caught in the lip. Right, let's see. Thump. That one really gave me a thump there. <laughs> I am trying to chin this one because we've got quite a lot of exposed hooks there. And I know what I don't want are oh, those in the net. There we go. Lovely little pike, lovely little jack. So hopefully that comes out on the camera okay. No massive fish, but we'll get that one straight back. Off he goes. Yeah, so what I didn't want to do there, guys, was um, get the net out when I had... Um, so there's only one point of the treble through that one um, and that would have been uh, my net and that fish most likely messed up 
so we want to very much avoid that if we can. So quick unhooking like that, especially on smaller fish, um, makes it nice and easy for both. So there we go guys. Mouse one, pike nil. Let's just try fishing under these, this little tree line here, see if we can pick anything up. The water's a lot clearer here. It's a little bit more sheltered on this side. But again, even though this little oar is a bit darker, it's still a, it's still a fairly natural pattern, so still a fairly good choice here, I think. uniquely interesting. has a pike on it and it's seen me and gone. So that, that chap had a bite at it and because it was in really shallow water it uh, <laughs> missed the hook, saw me and turned. Typical. There he is again, working off his Christmas dinner. Okay, missed it. Mm. Might even be a perch. Though. Okay guys, that's the end of another video, um, thanks for watching, it's been tough, ironically it's been easier to uh, see a heavyweight champion boxer, I'll let you find that bit in the video, um, than it has been to catch a pike, ridiculous, anyway there we are, but um, 
Mirror Smash though, having used it now over a couple of different sessions, um, yeah, it's definitely the smaller version. I've not tried the bigger version, obviously, but the smaller version seems great for the canals. I mean, I've, the, the pike action that I've had um, today, the slightly bigger pike, it's been on the, it's been on the Murus mouse and also um, in the earlier session, obviously, uh, that the mouse caught then as well. So, yeah, good, good option to have in the tackle box. Very different presentation, very much just like a fly fishing for the heavy heavier pike here really so yeah definitely recommend it um time will tell as far as catching some more fish is concerned but that's just the conditions as ever so yep but anyway long outro thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the bank again soon